Hey, welcome to the All Stars Cars channel. I'm Glenn and today's fun project, we're going to do some paint correction on a Corvette Stingray that my buddy owns. Uh, they're on the trunk deck on the back, there are scratches and scuffing in the clear coat. So I wanna take you along with me today and show you how we're gonna polish those out and then we will uh, seal it with a ceramic coating, the repaired area, and take it from there. So as soon as he gets here, I'll fire up the camera and we'll check it out. So I wanna show you guys the damage on the back of the sting right here, right on the trunk deck. And you can see all these scratches. So it looks like there was something here that somebody tried to wipe off. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the uh, final cut, I think it's called, what is it here? Smart finish, I'm sorry. Smart finish, and this is a less aggressive polish than this uh, smart cut right here. So let's try that, and we're gonna use an orange pad, and we'll put a few drops on there and see how that works out. First, we wanna use the clean and prep. So this is ceramic coated, or it was at least at one time, and we wanna remove any any uh, protection on there first and then we'll start cutting all right so we've got uh we've got a couple of drops of the polish right here and let's get to it we'll see how this goes Glenn, i have and to ask you what kind of polish <laughs> <laughs> the best polish known to man gary dean the um if this doesn't work out we'll just switch to the heavier cut so that's all that's more of a compound so what i'm doing here if you're not familiar with polishing i'm just tapping out the the excess i did spray the pad down with a little bit of fresh water just to give it so, to um just get it going but here we go and i'm going to start off on a slow speed i have the porter cable what is this model the 70 or 74 24 xp so i'll start off on like four and then i'll bring the speed up a little bit want to start working the, the uh, product into the paint. You notice right away it really flows out a lot more than the, the other stuff. Can you see that? Yeah. Even though it's like in the gel, you know what I mean? It's very different. So I'm just going to get it on the panel and then I'll start working it in, putting more pressure on. I'm not going to bore you guys with the amount of time this takes, I'll let you know. I'll, uh, I'll turn the camera back on. After a little while, we'll wipe this off. It should wipe off pretty easily. And then we'll... Uh, See how the results are. We need to go any deeper. Turn the What I want you guys to notice is uh, I put a uh, black Sharpie on this backing pad here, this mark, and if that is not spinning while you're polishing, then you're really not getting much work done because this, is, this pad is oscillating. It's going this way and going circular. So you want to make sure you have the right amount of pressure where that's actually spinning. If not, then you need to correct your uh, technique. So that's hazed up and let's polish this or wipe this polish off and see where we're, you know, where we're at. That might only been maybe you know, five minutes of actual uh, polishing. Now if you have a problem trying to get the polish off, what you can do is take a little bit of detail spray or just wet this area down lightly and it will reactivate the polish. Usually the compounds are a little bit harder to get off. So, perfect. Let's see. I, yeah, this one is almost out here. That big scratch you have right here. Can you see it? From yeah, I can still see it. Yeah, yeah it's, get, it's much lighter though. It's it needs, a bit right yeah, it needs a little more work. I mean, it needs some more time. That's, that wasn't that much time. It's, it's already like 90% better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's work that out a little bit. 
That went easier than I thought. That was nice. It actually, it actually cut that scratch out much. That that this finished stuff is more aggressive than yeah. the old stuff. Definitely. Let's keep working on that. Looks good though. I mean, that's that's ninety percent better than it was for sure. Yeah. So I'm gonna stick with the finish polish because it's cutting really yeah. well. You want to pull the uh, I would say. In just to show, or you want to wait till we're done? Yeah, we could do that. So here we are in between. Let me give you a closer look. So you can see there's still imperfections in here, but I'd say it took out maybe like 80% of that so far, 75%. And there's one big scratch here. I don't think, can you get the light? Yeah. Where is it? It's getting hard to see. Where am I, am I pointing in the right direction? I can't even see it anymore. Right here? Right there. So let me see if I can get it on film. It's right there. Yeah, great. Right in there, right here. So I'm trying to work that just big scratch out. That one's pretty deep. But with the, just the finish polish, that's working good. If we went right to the uh, compound, we would have definitely got that out probably first pass. Yeah. This is so much less effort than the other stuff. Dude, that's, just, that's it. This stuff is way better. His, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much money. There's one scratch that was probably there from yeah, the beginning and a couple of there, scratches. but yeah, that yeah, haze is gone. gone. Yeah, it's all gone. This will be the nicest looking part of the trunk. <laughs> okay, so the reason, I don't know if I explained, I put this tape on just because, um, like a safety barrier, we'll wipe this off in a second, it's just polished, but, there's a kind of a dip right here and in order to avoid taking off more clear coat than we want need to i put the tape on there for protection that's all so let me peel that off and then i'll take the rag and just get this residual i got a, it's not really a rag it, it's it's a microfiber towel is what i'm using a rag has dirt and all kinds of crap in it so i'll have to get my uh Detail spray on that in a second just to take that out. Look at the difference, dude. Yeah. This is amazing. So, anyway, you guys saw it before. And there's still some minor scratches in there. That major, I mean, scuff, whatever you want to call it, that was the size of my hand at least, is gone now. There was a pretty big scratch back here. And it's just with the fine, it's really hard to see it right now. So it's like over in here somewhere, it's almost gone. So if I use the uh, the smart cut, it probably would have been gone in the first pass, you know, done. And then you would go ahead and use your, uh, what's the other stuff there? The smart finish to uh, finish it up. But I'm satisfied with the results. So let me go ahead and clean up this glue residue and we're gonna put the coating on it next. So we've got everything uh, prepped now. I used the clean and prep and that gets any of the residual polish off or any protection basically because we want to go right to the base coat to the uh, to the uh, clear coat to the base of that and we're going to go with what are you using here the ceramic acrylics max protect and that little bottle will do about two three cars easily and that's a ceramic coating it's everything you need and you're going to wipe that on there just real lightly you only need my buddy Joe here, it's his car. He's gonna show you just a couple drops. Yep, that's it. That's all you need right there. Um, you could probably almost do the whole trunk deck with that amount. Just wipe it left to right, left to right. Yep, like that. That's it, smear that on there. Let me put the light on. It's very clear, so it will. Does this have the haze? This one has a little bit of haze when it dries. 
And once it does, you just wipe it right off. So there's almost no residual left. That's it, it's done. So now we'll wait about 15, 20 minutes, depends on the weather, the temperature. And it's a little bit cooler today. So it might take a little bit of time, 15 minutes maybe and 20 minutes. You can see it right there. It's kind of hazed up. And we'll just take a microfiber and wipe that right off. And that's fully ceramic protected. Now, the reason we didn't do this, this here on both sides of the, the whole trunk deck, I should say, is because it's already ceramic coated. So we were just basically stripping this area to get the scratches out. And then we're back to step one now. So now there are a couple little minor defects still in there. But Joe plans on later this year just taking the whole thing and polishing the whole trunk deck because there's some other minor stuff, imperfections, and he wants to get rid of them. All right, so it's been about 10, 15 minutes. We're going to wipe the product off, or I should say Joe is, not we. He is. I came right off. <laughs> How's it feel? Yes. Flip your towel, see if it like really should be slick as snot, as they say. It is. That's good. What's this little speck right here? What is that? Glue or? Mm. A chip? Mm, probably chip. Probably scratch now with my finger. So that looks way better. That's definitely uh, yeah, the rest of the trunk definitely acceptable. <laughs> yeah, it does. The um, let me see something here. Feel it. Oh wow. Just compared to the yeah, look at this, Jesus, you, I can hear it. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see what Joe's talking about. There's haze here. That's there's a you know there's light scratches, but there's a lot of haze in the area we didn't touch. And this is much more clear in person. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's a lot of haze there. Yeah, nice. Alrighty. Okay, so I think the results are pretty good. We got about, I'd say, probably 95% of the damage out. Uh, you know, Joe, the owner of the car, is happy with it. Now, like I mentioned, he's going to go ahead and paint correct the entire trunk deck when he gets a chance. So for now, it's much better. You saw in the beginning the, the uh, scratching, scuffing was really bad. And what you don't ever want to do is use a towel or a cloth or anything to wipe your car down that has fallen on the ground, especially. I mean, even if it drops down on the on what you think is a clean garage floor, don't use it. Throw it in the washing machine, hand wash it, whatever, to get it clean or use a clean, fresh towel because uh, it happens that easily, especially on dark colored cars and black color, you know, is probably the worst uh, as far as showing up imperfections in paint. So keep that in mind. Uh, Gary Dean's products work awesome. I've been using them for years. I'll leave a link to his products down below in the description if you need to grab any of that stuff. I highly recommend it. So anyway, thanks for stopping by the channel. I have some other detailed videos. Uh, maybe I'll post a link or two to those down below and uh, can help you out with your car. So uh, check out some of my repair videos if you get a chance. Check me out on Instagram. That's Ozstar with the number one after it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy.